Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and today I'm going to be giving you a few hints and tips on PGA Tour 2K21 that I've picked up and uh, been really, really enjoying. Please let me know below if you've picked this one up and uh, if you're enjoying it. And, um, I know it's a little bit downgraded on the Switch, but I still think it's an excellent, excellent golf game. So what I've picked up is a few questions um, from my last video and I've seen on Reddit and various forums. That I thought I'd try and address for you today. So the first one is people struggling with um, the swing mechanics, basically in the main game, the using the right stick to swing. Now this is probably one of the biggest tips, and this works across all systems. Now going to training across the top menu, and you're it's kind of hidden away, and the game doesn't really explain this at all. But um, I found this out, and uh, it really, really helped me. Right, so you want to be going into swing calibration, which is on the uh, the pause menu here. And after a very quick load, you get to like a driving range here. Now, what it asks you to do is to take full uh, ten full power swings uh, with a consistent motion. So that wasn't a particularly good swing; it fell a bit short. But you just what you want to do is just try and keep your technique the same over and over. And when you complete 10 of these swings, you will find that your swing in the game is much straighter. And uh, we'll showcase it off in a little while. So there you go, head to training, swing calibration. Make sure you do this at least once. That's a wild one, wasn't it? That's no good. But what the game will do is it will pick out your sort of, um, your motion and sort of get your timing into the game and you'll find your swings are much straighter. So that's the first one, that's swing calibration. Now I've completed my 10 swings, I'm back here on the driving range. And if I just do a swing, there you go, look how straight that blue line is on the right hand side. That's the motion of my uh, up and down action on the right stick. And you know, before it would be all over the place. And now pretty much perfectly straight up and down. So you still have to maybe get the timing a little bit right there. You see, I'm slow, but basically, you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be adding to the problems by swinging backwards and forwards outside of the uh, the safe zone now. So I hope that helps, and uh, let's move on to the next tip. Now this next one's going to be quite hard for me to show. Um, basically, I've seen a lot of people are having problems logging in uh, to the 2K network. Now this has been a problem with 2K games on the Switch. Previously, you know, you have to constantly be asked to be logged in and then you get an email through every time you do. Now, what you want to do is, as I say, I've already um, fixed this on my system, so I can't replicate it now. But basically, when you get the 2K pop-up saying that you need to uh, log in, you'll get like what looks like a web page come up. And then just above the button that you need to press to link your accounts, um, although that technically doesn't work because, as I say, it will ask you every time you reload the game. But on that sort of web page looking screen, there's a hyperlink just above in blue. And it says something like, click here to view more information. If you click that, and then it will load another web page, and there will be a tick box on that page that the, will say, share my age or save my date of birth, something like that to do with your age, that's unticked. If you tick that box and then confirm, that will sort of lock in the 2K account and it will stop um, It will stop requesting it each time you load it. So as I say, sorry I can't really show that off visually. Um, if you don't quite understand what I've explained, please let me know below and I'll try and talk you through it. But hopefully uh, that's enough. Just look for the link on the page. Use your Joy-Con to uh, click on the link and then confirm your date of birth or age on the next screen that pops up. It's a little tick box and then confirm that and that will lock in your account. So just like the swing calibration, my next tip is for people that are struggling with the mechanics of the game and uh, are hitting sort of wayward shots. Now what you can do here is when you're in a game, go into um, settings, go into difficulty, and you can actually turn off the backswing, uh, the, the swing timing off. So this option here. So when it's on, the downswing timing will affect the outcome of your shot hooking or slicing. And when it's off, the downswing is disabled. So you can turn that off. You can see you, you lose a chunk of uh, XP multiplier there. So lost about 20 or uh, 0 0.20, sorry. But we're going to save that and show you the difference. 
and uh, we're on practice swing at the minute. So all the game is interested in is how straight you keep that club up and down. Doesn't care about the timing anymore, the transition between the down to up swing. And if you've uh, combined this with my tip about swing calibration, you can see that how straight the blue line is on the right hand side. So if we come off a practice swing by clicking in the right stick, Great. and if we uh, like just it. take a swing down onto the fairway here. So the game doesn't care about hooking or slicing now. It will just hit a straight wow, shot as long as down. you hit a uh, hit a straight shot up and down. And if you've done your swing calibration, you should be able to. You can still hook and slice the ball if you need to by using the, uh, I think it's called the pro shot, isn't it? By holding down the L button. You can shape your shot here so you can see we're uh, fading it away there. But again, it doesn't matter, just up and down. See on the right hand side, that's a straight up and down shot. So all you need to worry about is just up and down. Too much Don't have to worry too much about your timing but, uh, at all. There. There. And there you go. So that might help you get around if you're struggling with the mechanics and you end up uh, hooking into the trees with every shot. Sweet. Uh, and you want to just okay. enjoy Four, the game a little bit go. better. There you go. Hope that does help. And just while we're on the green here, I'm going to show you how to turn the flag on and off. You can press the X button. And that toggles the flag on and off. But some people that I've seen, even that's too much for them. And they want the flag off permanently. So again, if you come into settings, and this one is under difficulty. And if you scroll right to the bottom of that menu, you will see pin preference. And you can turn the pin out or in. So, so you can manually do it with the X button. So if we put it on out, it should start hidden like that. And then we can press the X button to turn it on and off. But if you always want it off, if your preference is always to put it off, you can change that there in the settings. And that's your part. And this last one, um, I saw people talking about this a lot when the traders were out and we've seen pre sort of release footage. And that is here. the ball trail. I already covered this in my last video, but if you've not seen that, firstly, why not? Please go and check that out. Um, but yeah, if you don't like the ball trail and it is very ugly and off-putting, I mean, it doesn't really affect the game, but it's just, you know, not very nice to look at. And you can toggle that off. So if you go into the settings menu with the plus button, and it's under display and HUD, and then you'll see uh, show ball trail. And you can have it either on permanently, on only when you take a tee shot, or off. So I like to set it to off. And now when you take your shot, boom, just nice and clean. You just see the ball, just like on TV. So there you go. There's a few tips there that I hope will help with your experience on PGA 2K21. Uh, a really, really good game on the Switch. Obviously missing a few things and a bit of a downgrade, but if you're a fan of golf, then absolutely recommended for you to pick up. So. Hope that helps. Please let me know below if it does. If you've got any other questions or uh, need any other advice, please let me know below and I'll try to help you. But until then, please leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new and I will catch you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.